everyone. Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So right now we're about to head into the Home Depot's Garden Center and let's go ahead and see what they have. I am looking for some different herbs because I have a new project that I'm starting but I hope I find something. So let's go ahead and head inside and let's see what they have. Okay you guys, so the first thing first, let's talk about Bonnie's plants. Now I've noticed this year that Bonnie Plants has put out a ton of different varieties than they normally have. So right here is the little Napoli's tomato. Um, you see the guys the price, but this pot is very cute. I love the pot with the tomato cage already built around it. I was thinking that it would go great with a compact cucumber plant. Um, I'm seeing a little issues here, but I'm not sure if this is chemical or it could be blight, but it doesn't quite look like it's blight. Um, down here is another tomato that I was just like, wow, there's a ton of tomatoes on this plant. And I mean, clusters after clusters after clusters of tomatoes on this plant. Now this plant is called the Little Bite Tomato. And it kind of looks like the same other one that we were looking at, but this one really had a lot more uh, clusters. Now let's go ahead and look at the ones that's on the shelf. Now here's the curly leaf parsley, and right here is the yellow chard. Believe it or not, I planted the rainbow pack of chard, and I did not get any yellow chard. Here's are some little um, Liberty Bells. Now they kind of remind me of my little lunchbox peppers. Um, so what do you guys think? I really think they do remind you of just the little lunchbox peppers, which is the called the mini bells. Down here is a hot burrito. Never tried this one. That one's different. I'm not quite sure. It might kind of just remind you of the Tabasco pepper. Uh, didn't I tell you guys this uh, purple lady bok choy? They were going to bolt, and I hope nobody bought them because <laughs> they definitely, definitely will bolt. So these little plants are struggling because they haven't been sold, and they're trying to put on a head, and they might not develop a big head at all because they already started to grow a head in such a small container. So as we go ahead and stroll along, let's see what else they have here. So I'm seeing that they have this Sweet Millions Cherry Tomato. I wonder if it's like the Sweet 100s that you guys recommended that I try out. But it kind of looks like it because when I looked it up, they almost look just like this. But I'm not quite sure. But the lavender plants are very beautiful. Uh, I am going to go ahead and propagate some more. Um, I was looking at the size of the plant to see what size it grows because some of them can grow pretty big so this one actually grows up to two feet down here they have a patio perfect cucumber and you guys they have like maybe two to three uh, cucumber plants into each one of these cups so if you have like i said a patio or something like that a compact cucumber plant will work out just fine so i really came here you guys to look and see if i can find some herbs for my new project and I've never tried bee balm um, but I was thinking about it but then I was like nope I need something else so I am trying to find some herbs that I can go ahead and pop into my new project um, but I was not having any luck with uh, finding any herbs that I didn't already have As we go ahead and go along, they have right here, this is a fresh bite orange pepper. And anybody ever try the cuckoo melon? Never tried that. Hmm. Is it sweet? Is it bitter? Never tried it. Some early flames. Like I said, I really am excited that they have, that's a Baltimore, that's a hot burrito. They have some great varieties this year to choose from instead of like your standard tomato, your standard pepper, which is like bell peppers. You know, they actually have a lot more to choose from. 
so if you guys didn't get a chance to start some things they do have them running on sale right now three for 12 on some of the bonnie selected plants so uh, i think that's a good thing too if you haven't gotten started so they do have some six packs and some nine packs that i've ran into at different stores now here's a pineapple ground cherry hmm thought that was neat anything that says pineapple i'm so for it <laughs> so right here is some red ghost peppers it's the hot pepper and right here is the smoking eds carolina reaper i do love hot pepper but i've never tried either one of them Right down here is a green griller zucchini. Now, if you head to your local Home Depot, we might have different things. I guess it all too depends on the area or uh, the climate. They have eggplants. This eggplant is huge already. So if you're into eggplants, they take a long time to get up and going. So if you haven't started those, um, it might be a little hard to go ahead and, um, they take a long time to, to get going. So right here, I was telling you guys, they have the three for 12 on selected bonnie plants. So they are in like these little clear cups and they are running three for 12. Now they did have even some herbs, uh, three for 12. So they're basically $4 a pop. Um, but I was trying to find some serious herbs, you guys, and I really didn't have any luck. So if you guys have any herbs that you think that I could pop into my new project, that you think that I might like, put that in the description box below because I really have right now, I have the basil, I have mint, I have thyme, I have oregano, I have sage, I have a great deal of herbs. Now I do have the purple basil seeds already. Now, I was thinking about just popping in a bunch of different types of mint, like the chocolate mint, the pineapple mint, orange mint. Um, but I already have spearmint, but I was just thinking something different, something different. <laughs> so they had the hot cayenne, the poblano, the jalapenos, green bell peppers. So they haven't a great deal of selective, uh, the mammoth jalapeno. I'm thinking that's going to be a big jalapeno. The Tabasco pepper. I almost was going to pick this up because I've always kind of wanted to go ahead and have a Tabasco pepper and maybe overwinter that. They got the habaneros, the serranos. Hot cayenne, orange bells. So they have a great deal. Down here they have some sweet potato slips. They actually are really like in great shape. Like look at that. These are some great slips. So if you haven't got that started, I would actually pay $4.88 for these um, sweet potato slips. They're really, really in great shape. Hot bananas. And you guys, look at all of these tomatoes. I mean, tomatoes after tomatoes after tomatoes. Now, I was gonna go ahead and pick up 
um, the Sweet 100s. Because y'all told me this was a great choice. The Super Sweet 100. And I was trying to find one that had three in it. <laughs> they had two. So I did put this, you guys, in the cart. They have the celebrities. Some beef steak, tomatoes. The early girl 50 day. Husky cherry tomato. I mean, they have a great deal of varieties. Now, you guys, looky, looky, we have found the Myers Lemon and as well the Key Lime that is running $15. Yes. Now, look at the one I picked up, you guys. They are blossoming. They are happy. And look at the fruit on this plant. So like I was saying, let's check out your local Home Depots. Now over here, they have the deal four for 10 on the garden soil. Great deal. So this is the garden soil, all purpose for in-ground use. I go ahead and use this as well. I just add perlite um to the mixture to loosen up the soil so it won't be compacted or anything like that and as well i add a little bit um more amendments just to kind of give it a little boost um but four for ten you guys right now the next thing up they have is the five for ten on the mulch so if you didn't get it the last sale they actually run it again on the black the brown and as well the red mulch now i'm so happy that they went ahead and started this deal back over i do need to go ahead and pick up a couple more of the bricks so i haven't did it in this trip but i need to go ahead and measure area back off to make sure but you guys they're 25 cents a brick Okay, you guys, we're at the end of the video. I went and got me some goodies. And actually, you guys, this was actually marked off half off because it was damaged. And as well, I did go ahead and pick up, you guys, my lemon tree and a uh, lime tree. And I did get you guys these sweet, I did pick up the sweet 100s. I had to open the pack, you guys. There was not too many seeds in here. But we're going to go ahead and test out these sweet 100s that you guys requested that I try. So we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. <laughs> Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. <laughs>